Hello everyone, just um, taking this video to share uh, this tank that I have set up. This is my marine aquarium. Uh, it's been running since uh, November last year, so about four or five months now. Uh, and it's doing really well. I've got mostly some uh, soft corals and just added in some uh, SPS corals as well. Uh, and it's been doing really well. Uh, considering that there's nothing that high-tech about this tank. It does not have, uh, it's not drilled, there is no uh, sump, uh, there is no separate refugium. It's a pretty basic setup. In fact, um, I'm running a hang-on tank filter. Uh, I do have a protein skimmer. I have one canister filter. Uh, running and a few power heads and that is it and I've been quite delighted with um, the health of my corals and the growth uh, that I've achieved and I believe that one of the reasons I've had success is because of uh, this particular method that I'm using which is let's call it an in-tank refugium so of course, um, there's lots of videos out there about refugiums and uh, the value of a refugium. Um, most people set up a refugium in their sump under their tank. Um, I didn't have the uh, patience to do that, nor did I want to spend the money uh, to drill my tank and set it all up. So what I did instead was uh, set up this particular system, which is a really simple but efficient um, system. Uh, there's container that the macro algae is in is just a plexi, um, a plastic plexi container that uh, aquarium stores sell as isolation tanks or breeding tanks. Uh, it basically clips on to the side of the aquarium. This particular one has two uh, separate containers. And um, as you can see, in one of them, I have Ketomorpha, and in the other one, I have some red macroalgae, uh, Dragon's Breath. And then uh, for lighting, really simple. These are some of these um, domed um, lights that, reflected lights that one can buy really on Amazon, Home Depot, anywhere. They're you know, less than $20. And I'm also using a, a full spectrum light that I bought from Amazon as well. Really good um, growth with this. Simple, right? I mean, there's nothing elaborate, no specific spectrum, uh, purple spectrum. I've seen a lot of videos about that. This is just full spectrum, maybe about four to five uh, inches away from the macroalgae. And uh, you can tell that the macroalgae is growing extremely well. And the growth basically is supported by the uptake of nutrients from the tank. So the fact that uh, this macroalgae is doing so well it's encouraging for me because it's actually taking up all of the phosphates and nitrates from the aquarium. Um, I just make, make sure that there's sufficient water flow around uh, the macroalgae uh, to ensure that uh, the macroalgae is uh, taking out the nutrients uh, from the water column. Uh, and so you can see the output uh, from my canister filter is emptying out into here. And I also uh, have a power head uh, running right beside it uh, to ensure some good flow so that these uh, macroalgae get all the nutrients that they need and uh, strip it from the aquarium. And I uh, just wanted to share this with you um, for those of you that are looking for inexpensive ways to um, improve your water quality without chemicals or uh, additives. Um, use a simple um, in-tank refugium is what I'm calling this. 
Uh, there isn't a lot of information out there about this, um, but very easy to use, very inexpensive, and uh, pretty efficient. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help you out with this.